Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So if you are someone who is in his or her masters or bachelors, that means in BSc or MSc or in integrated MSc as well. And if you want to do some summer internship program in some good institute of India and want to get some uh, good research related um, uh, experience in that case, this video is for you and this is a good opportunity for you, which you should actually go for. So this is a opportunity by National Institute of Science, Education and Research, also called as NISER. So this NISER has uh, announced uh, like summer projects program for the year of 2022. So I will give you a link directly in the description of this video. You can directly come up to this particular page and uh, the page is for the uh, School of uh, Chemistry. Okay, So this is School of Chemical Sciences of NISER. For this page, I will give you link directly in the description. You can directly come up over here. So it says summer project program for 2022. Now there are different things over here. First of all, introduction part is there that uh, this is School of Chemical Sciences of NISER offers a vibrant summer project program in which participants take up various state of art research projects under supervision of their faculties. Now this is a two month long program conducted usually between the month of May to July. Apart from the regular project work, participants can also uh, get opportunity to participate in various activities organized by School of Chemical Sciences such as seminar on the current research work in the various field, visit to different research laboratories of NISER. Interested students from all over India are encouraged to apply for the program. Now who can apply for this? So this is the eligibility you can consider. So students who are pursuing BSc, MSc or integrated MSc degree with chemistry as the major subject. There is no requirement of any percentage or any marks as per what the eligibility says. Uh, later on, you might be judged upon that, but initial uh, there is no eligibility condition for that, right? Now, how you can apply for this? So this is very important to understand. Okay, be very careful when I'm telling you the process of applying. So here, you if you are interested, so first you need to contact the School of Chemical Sciences. Uh, faculties okay you have to contact the faculties of a school of chemical sciences under whom you wish to do the summer project so first you have to look upon the list of faculties which are there you have to decide that under whom you want to do the project and you have to uh, like contact that particular supervisor right if the faculty agrees to supervise you okay so if the faculties agrees to supervise you then only the candidate should apply for the program so first thing is to take the consent of the faculty so that is the first thing which you have to do take the consent of the faculty and then apply for it using the following link uh, use the following link to know about the research area of the and the contact detail of different faculties i'll show you this link a little late in this particular video itself now once let's say the consent you have got so then the application form should be complete in all the respect and counter signed by the respective head of department or institute means from where you are doing your MSc or BSc, from that institute you have to get it signed. If you are selected by the, let's say the uh, faculty of NISER gives you consent, in that case you have to fill the form, you have to get it signed by your HOD, your current HOD, whichever is there in your department, you have to get it signed that yes, you want to do this project and usually they uh, encourage to do all these things, so they will definitely sign for that. Now email the consent obtained from the faculty supervisor means the email consent which you will get from the faculty supervisor you have to take a printout of that along with that you will uh, apply uh, like the application form which you will be filling it Ap along with that the consent email you have to attach and soft copy of uh, uh, like application certificate mark sheet and email communication means whatever communication you have done with the NISER supervisor or NISER faculty all these things like application your certificates and mark sheets and that email communication all those things you have to combine all together and you have to send all these things to this particular email id right and you have to send everything in the form of soft copy so you have to make a, a pdf file of the, all of these and then you have to send it to this incomplete application will be summarily reje rejected so if you have incomplete set of like uh, application then you, that won't be selected at all so this is simple process again because it's a big process i'll just summarize it quickly so first thing is you have to get the consent of the NISER faculty. Second thing is you have to fill the form and uh, you have to attach the, uh, the, um, the consent which you have got in the email form. Along with that, you have to attach your application like application which you will filling which you will be filling over here by downloading over here. 
and then your mark sheets and certificates and then you have to send it to this particular email id okay? uh, ssc office at the rate nizer.ac.in okay here you can download the application form i will download and show you how it looks let's talk about stipend first of all so stipend uh, limited number of students first of all will be selected and uh, those who will not be that's those who are not funded by any other agency they will be provided by stipend of 5000 rupees per month okay i know it's very less but at msc level it's quite fine and they are also going to give you a sleeper class railway fare or bus fare means the fare to reach to that nicer you they are going to give you give it to that okay and that will be transferred to the, your bank account after successful completion of the internship accommodation will be also provided accommodation facility is also limited and this is subject to availability and it is also chargeable rupees 20 per day so you will be charged rupees 20 per day for the accommodation and a refundable uh, caution money will be deposited that is 2000 rupees will be deposited which you will get back once the uh, internship is complete okay selected candidate list will be uploaded on the school website later on important dates are here uh, duration of the program is from 28th of may to 27th of july uh, last date of application is 25th of april so if you are interested please make sure that you get the consent and you fill the form before 25th of april list of selected candidate will be uploaded by the second week of may all right let's quickly look upon the list of faculty so once you click on this particular link you will be able to see the faculty list this is the faculty list over here you have the name of the supervisor you have the designation of him and the specialization in which field he is doing the work uh, let's say if i am interested in uh, organic chemistry and bio organic chemistry in that case i will go for chandrasekhar purohit sir and uh, if i have to know his email id i have to click on this particular name and this will take me to his official website or his official page and here is his email id to get my consent i have to mail at this particular email id i hope this is much clear okay so this is how you have to select depending upon your area of interest whatever interest whatever topic interest you you can select that supervisor and you can uh, like contact him for the consent for the project or for the uh, summer project right uh, next thing is about this application form so if you click on this link you will be able to download the application form and this is how the application form looks the school of chemical sciences national science national institute of science education and research nizer bhubaneswar application form for the summer project is given to you so you have to fill your name date of birth age father's name gender whether you belong to any reserved category or not date of uh, sorry address of communication you have to paste your recent uh, photograph as well over here and then your pin code and permanent address name of the college and the place where you are right now enrolled okay so where you are enrolled right now that college and place you have to fill here name of the university in which your college is affiliated to then presently pursuing the degree whether you are doing bsc or msc or integrated msc whatever you are doing you have to fill over here year or month of joining the college when when you joined the college okay when you took the admission in in your current college they are all talking about these college over here okay expected year month of degree completion so when you are going to complete your degree means if you are in masters when it will be complete if you are in bachelor so when it is going to be completed so all that detail you have to fill over here in this column right details of marks obtained a bachelor's first you have to apply uh, apply means first year second year third year then master's first year second year let's say if you are in uh, master's first year so you have to leave this blank okay let's say if you are in bachelor's third year so you have to leave these two blank okay so depending upon wherever you are you can leave the subsequent or the further ones blank and you have to fill the rest of the ones then title of the project on which title you are going to work that title you will be get you will be getting from the a nicer faculty okay this you are going to get from the nicer faculty so while getting the consent you will get the title of the project name of the project supervisor of course you have already selected in the nicer uh, duration of the project that also nicer faculty is going to tell you okay also you if you don't if you don't get anything from there you can fill that uh, the duration as equal to the duration of the project uh, the summer project right do you have any scholarship whether you have any scholarship apart from the summer internship so you can select it over here whether you have or not okay then name of the local guardian if you have any local guardian in bhubaneswar then you have to fill it otherwise you can leave this blank nicer accommodation required or not so you have to fill whether it is required or not from when to when you read okay so that will be quite similar to the date of project also uh, whether you want to avail the library or the computer center so just you can select yes or no this is free okay this is not on the payment basis so you can just avail for that 
in that case we'll get a library card or the computer center uh, card to so that you can access the computer center okay so uh, one thing which is given over here that accommodation if desired will be provided subject to availability on the payment basis only and then this is the declaration you have to write down uh, you have to do the signature of yours date and name and the signature and the seal of the head of department so this you have to get it done from your current institute okay this you have to done from from your current institute wherever you are enrolled right now and the seal of them and these are these are for the like you don't have to fill this part this is for nicer okay so you have you don't you don't have to fill this part so this is your application form so your application form along with the consent email which you are getting and along with the mark sheets you have to make a separate file once you fill all these things make a separate file and then send it to that particular uh, this particular email id right so this is how the whole process will be there i hope the things are much clear to you i just try to make it much clearer if there is any uh, doubt or if you want to ask anything you can ask in the comment sections below that's all from my side for this particular video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much